What's up boys and girls? This is the Clash of the Cousins podcast with yours truly, Abhishank, and my special co-host, Kashika. Watch the podcast, check it out, let me know how it sounds. Peace. So tell us about yourself a little bit before we start. Um, hi, my name is Kashika and I'm 20 years old and I'm currently pursuing my graduation. I'm in the final year of my graduation. I'm doing psychology majors. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I, I'm from India. That's the main thing I should have told in the beginning, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you're from, you're from Delhi, India. I'm from Delhi and yeah, we, we are related. Me and Abhishank, we, we are related. Yeah. We're, so how, how are we related? Go ahead. Do you, should I say it or should, are you going to say it? Yeah, I, I, I know that. That's very simple. Like, um, Abhishank's mom, like your mom, is my father's sister. Simple. Right, so we're just cousins in, in short. Yeah, right? we're just cousins. We're just cousins. Basically, we, we are first cousins, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And and it's uh, it's interesting. The day you were born was when I moved from India to Canada, which is pretty... Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, because every, no, like, I don't remember. Everybody tells me that now, that... When you were born, Bua was living. So, like, we call, uh, I call uh, his mom my Bua because that's what we call in India. So, everybody's like, Bua was living at that time for Canada. And you guys, I guess you guys waited for a long time for me. But absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We waited, we waited until the last moment. And as soon as we reached the airport, uh, you were born at that time. So, we took a flight. Like it was like fifteen minutes past after you were born, and we took the flight. Like our flight oh, left, yeah. so it was pretty insane. And what was the coolest thing was, um, like over the years, I saw you grow up, and there's a one generation gap between us. I think there's like eight years. Yeah, eight years gap between us. So I saw you go from like, um, whenever I would come back to India, you would know just a little more about pop culture. And it was cool to see you, like, really understand the eco eco space of like Canada and the U.S. and like Instagram, mm-hmm. TikTok, all of that. What were you saying? Sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, I I remember you asking me about Zayn Malik and One Direction and how I feel about that. And yeah, yeah I know that. That I think that was the last time you visited India. Yeah, two thousand. No, that would have been that would have been before because two thousand sixteen. Oh, yeah. One Direction was almost ending. I think that conversation would have been 2014 or so, when Zayn Malik was in the prime, and like One Direction was in the prime. Uh, I remember you were you were like we we totally had that conversation. Yeah. And Sunny was also there. Yeah, he was. And what was you know what was the coolest thing? So you do a bit of social media. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Um. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm very much on instagram and i like to post reels and all that what's your handle so, what's your handle uh yeah drop your handle so that everyone can go okay so it's at the date k-a-s-h-i-k double a dot a-r-o-r double a um so that's kashika roda just with an add-on to add two added a's in the end and yeah so i make reels just for fun, like I don't do anything uh, meaningful, but yeah, I, I find it pretty interesting. I make reels wherever I go. I when did you I when go. did you start Instagram? I started Instagram back in 2015 or uh, 16, I guess. Wow. I don't remember. That's crazy. I, yeah, I was 14 at that time, 14, 15 years old. Was that your first started, platform? Was that your first social media platform? Yeah. Or was it Facebook? I was, it was Facebook. Okay. And I was really not allowed to use Facebook at that time, but um, I somehow managed to use it. Like I used to take my elder brother's laptop. Yeah. And I I used to take Sunnywear's laptop. And I, our, I used to our other them. cousin, our mutual cousin. But go ahead. Go and ahead. Yeah. Hmm. So I used to take his laptop and I used to tell him that I have some work school I have, I have to do some school work i have some documents to make and i have some pictures and all that yeah. so he used to give me and i was active i used to use uh, facebook for like one or two hours one or two hours per day and that was all the time like you know 
I had friends in my school who knew that that this will be the time period when Kashika will be online and all that. So they also used to come online at that time, so we can chat and because um, uske lava I did not use Facebook. Yeah, it's uh, it's crazy how the generations change. Because in my day, when I was in grade seven, grade eight, so I, I would have been thirteen. I was doing the same thing with MSN. And like we would all, do you know about MSN? Have you ever heard of it? No, it's a, it's Hotmail Messenger. So all of our friends would come online together and we would chat with each other. And then there would be uh, soon there was a functionality where you can add your profile picture and then also start webcamming with each other. Oh. And then the next generation was Facebook and like you know come online at the same time, talk to each other. And then face, face, it's crazy, like how how similar everything is, right? And then in the middle yeah. we had Orkut. Do you remember Orkut? Yeah, I remember Orkut. Did, did you have it? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, of course. My phone is not recording. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I and okay. beach me. I just tried it once and once or okay. twice doing it. Okay. It's not recording. It's okay. Just start recording. It's fine. We'll go with the flow. It's fine. It's not. Something is not working. It's not recording at all. Not now. It it starts. Okay, cool. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So, did you have Orkut too? No, no. I never used Orkut. Okay. I was pretty much active on Facebook, and yeah. then I came to Instagram, and then it's not recording again. I don't know what's what's like happening. Like completely. Yeah, it's not okay. recording at all. Okay, that's okay. No problem. Um, we'll just go through this. We can just use your your quality on your desktop, that's no problem. It's not, it's not too, too bad. So we're good. But, um, so yeah, you didn't have Orkut, you had Facebook, then you got on Instagram. What were you posting yeah. on Instagram initially? Just my pictures, uh, whenever I used to get ready on the festivals and when I used to go out or the pictures I have with my friends and all that. Were they really well curated? Like, were they, when did you start taking, because I've gone through your feed and they're very like, um, they're very professionally done and they're very, very, no, seriously, like they, you can tell that, and don't, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you can tell that you take, you dress up for it. Um, you take a lot of time doing it. You probably go through hundreds of pictures before you pick the best one. So when did you get into, is that true? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, when did you get to that level that you wanted to put that much work into like presenting yourself um, perfectly on social media? I got into this in 2020. Okay. But like, I, I don't put that much work. Like, you know, it's not like work. If I, when, when I go out, I have to get ready. Yeah. That's, that's not, I'm doing, I'm not just doing that for the pictures. Right. I just get and but yeah clicking pictures and then selecting yeah and then that's some work and then you know editing and all because yeah. i don't really edit much yeah. um i go the pictures that i have uh, from my camera yeah. uh, but i don't usually edit much but then th but there's some work i have to do but not like so much work but yeah. it's very interesting because um i like clicking pictures i like posing and all that yeah and pop really uh, you know stuck with me because whenever we are on a trip that's his work oh you're, he has you're that yeah oh, wow i thought it was always your brother but that's cool so he's the one who takes pictures all the time yes 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 also does that but sometimes is he really mostly it's... sorry sorry for cutting you off i apologize go ahead it's no, mostly no. it's your dad yeah mostly it's papa and is he really proud of like uh the who you are and the way you act on social media and all that like is he really proud of that when he takes the pictures or does he take it because you always ask him and force it because i always ask him ki papa photo 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 oh, okay yeah he's not concerned with my social media like he he's not even on social media like yeah. uh, especially instagram yeah. he's not uh, on instagram so it's like it, i just i'm just after him ki papa photo 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 and then okay he clicks just when did your when did your follower when did your following start to go up a little uh in 2020 only oh okay were you at like a couple of hundred people before 2020 
I, I, uh, when did you yeah, hit a thousand? Because that's a big mark to hit for like a micro person. When did you hit a thousand? Don't remember. Don't remember. Okay. So when? But, but, yeah. Huh? Go ahead. Sorry for cutting you off. I remember that I had a private account before 2020. Yeah. So um, I did not have uh, many followers because it was a private account. And mm-hmm. I used to accept uh, the request of only those people who I know. Okay. But then um, I got pretty much active on Instagram and I made my profile public and I started posting. It was like, you know, um, initially it was like creating content, something of that sort, because mm. I used to especially get ready because, but that was in the lockdown period yeah. that I used to, uh, I especially got ready, clicked pictures or called my uh, one of my friends to click my pictures and all that. So that was in the earlier stages, but after that, I am like, um, whenever I go out, then I yeah. only then I click pictures, not essay. Okay, what? How much did your following go up in the lockdown? Did you have a huge boom during the lockdown? Yeah. Can I ask I like, numbers wise? Can I ask how much? <laughs> I, like I don't remember um, exactly, but I do remember that I was somewhere between one fifty to uh, three hundred followers. I think three. Like um, it was not more than four hundred. Okay. But uh, during the lockdown, it went up to one thousand. It crossed one thousand wow. and all that. But, yeah, but that was when I made my profile public. Before that, it was only the people I knew. Right. And then, like, it just... It, when did you start posting Reels? 2020. Okay, so Reels came in 2022, yeah. You know what's, you know what's funny? The, the first time I had an inkling of, like, the fact that you might be really into social media. Can you... Actually, I want you to guess. When do you think the first time I thought that you're really, like, going to pursue this heavily? Sunny Reels Wedding. No. No, way before that. Way before that. Can you guess? You probably don't remember, but I remember like that moment distinctly. No. Okay. So back back in like I think it was 2010 or something. Um, back in 2010, we were sitting in the computer room in India in like a Shoknagar on the second floor. And I was I was trying to scam you guys with a with a website called askjud.com. Ask Jud, uh? askjud.com, where I oh. would type stuff into into like a computer and it would give me responses, right? And so um, I remember your mom asking that what does Ke- uh, what does uh, Kashika want to be when she grows up? And I'd heard that you wanted to be a dancer or something, and I typed that in. And you guys were both surprised that like I got it right, <laughs> but that was like the first moment ever where I was like, okay, this this like my cousin is interested in uh, the acting space or the social media space, mm-hmm. and that's like the most distinct memory. And it was cool to see you go from that to like taking a bunch of pictures in 2016. I guess you were 14 at that point. Were you 14, 15? 14. Yeah, and then take a bunch of pictures and then like blow up on Instagram a little bit. It was it was really cool to see you. Yeah, wait a minute, I was not even 14. I think I was 13. Wait. Yeah. You would have been 13, right? I was 13. I didn't even complete 14. Because I remember uh, Sunny Girls Reading was in March and I completed 14 in June. So. Yeah. yeah. I was, but I really thought that I, I, I like honestly I don't remember this thing yeah. happening yeah. with this old. But I remember uh, Sunny Bear's wedding because we we had like fifty selfies, you and me only. I think there was one more. I think there, that was Shalu Didi or someone else. I don't remember. But there was uh, one more person with us. Uh, I, I think Yash. It, it was. I don't remember. But the three of us, we had fifty pictures in just one pose. I remember. It was like crazy, yeah. We were we were going hard. Let's go to ham. Yeah, yeah. It was nuts. So let's uh let's move on a little to uh the next topic I want to talk about. So we were talking about like the reel you posted recently about Young Grady, uh, Dan Grady, huh? you so vicious. 
So do you know anything <laughs> about that? So that's the biggest news in uh, in the TikTok world right now. And do you know anything about that at all, or should I should I tell no. you? No. Okay. I, I I just used that sound because it was trending on Instagram okay. and. It it went with the video. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me let me let me uh, educate you a little bit. So Young Gravy is the six five rapper that like his biggest hit to date is the Dan Gravy use so of sexy, right? So what what's been happening right now is, uh, you know Addison Rae, her yeah. parents, her parents were like the perfect couple or whatever, like they were perfect, and then a couple of months ago, I think it was like a month two months ago, they. Or they split up like six months ago, but they made it public a month ago or so. And so Young Gravy got with Addison's mom. Like uh, they started hooking up, and then they went to the Video Music Awards together. Mm-hmm. And then Addison Rae's dad is like throwing shots at Young Gravy every single day on TikTok. That like with like a diss song and uh, like comments and videos that like uh, you have my leftovers and stuff like that like pretty vicious <laughs> stuff yeah pretty vicious vicious stuff and Addison Ray has unfollowed both okay. her friends I'm sorry yeah. he, he, he's posting and this is all happening like real publicly 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 he's saying that like uh, you know I didn't want her anymore and you can you know you got oh. my- yeah, it's craziness. And Addison Rae has unfollowed both her parents because apparently she doesn't want to associate with both of them. And then his, his her mom, who's also like, I don't think she's, I don't think she's the nicest person in the world because she went to, um, do you know what the VMAs are? The Video Music Awards? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, so she went to the VMAs with Young Gravy and she was making out with him like throughout so all the cameras caught it it was like big news and all of that so now addison ray's dad released a diss song about young gravy and then young gravy saying come have dinner with me we'll hash it out no problem i know you're a big fan of my music so they're going back and forth and then the last and then the last thing is do you know only fans by any chance have you heard of only fans yeah so addison ray's dad started an only fans recently and he's gonna release his like his first video or whatever on on Addison Ray's mom's birthday in September. Okay, so that's quite near September. Like we're in September. Yeah, so like you know, in a week, two weeks, he's gonna release his exclusive video on OnlyFans on her birthday. So like it's like it's the messiest beef possible, and it's crazy because we went to like. When Addison Rae came out, she was like super clean, super friendly, like brand friendly, all of that. Who knew that in the background, all of this debacle was going on? This is so crazy. I mean, like... Insane. Insane. You could have never imagined that, like, where did this come from? You know what I mean? And all in the public Uh, eye. How and how does it end up like this? You know, like, how did... Both of them ended up like this, yeah. from marrying e- each other to raising a daughter, and like and she's, divorce, I think, yeah. she's she's in her twenties now. Twenty two, twenty three, I think, something of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. And and then they're doing this. I think I think um, actually people say this. The I think they they're right about this. Fame really changes people, and like fame, I, maybe it doesn't change people, but it brings out the the dirtiest sides of people. So I completely agree with that. Yeah. And so what happened was they both got famous. They wanted to do whatever they wanted. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention was the reason this all of this started was because Addison Ray's dad started hooking up with like 20, 21 year olds. So that's where that was the that was the initiation. And then Addison Ray's mom got with young gravy and all of that stuff. So and they probably started all this because they got super famous and they were like, we can have anyone in the world. Right? Anything, yeah, we, we can do anything we want. Yeah. To get more famous. Yeah, or just like, they just want to do it, right? Like before they couldn't because they were normal people. Now they're on private jets. 
and like crazy amounts of money, even if it's Addison Ray's money, but they like, they're obviously living off of it, right? Yeah, but but it's kind of sad. It's super it's sad. Kind of super sad. sad. Like what's happening with Addison right now? Like how is she dealing with it? Like she's probably uh, like no one knows, but like she's probably super depressed, super like on one end she has like everything in her like Addison Ray is she has probably one of like the most perfect lives from a career perspective. Like she's the golden child, right? With um, advertisements, movies, all of that, and then on the other hand, her family Has life is a complete. What? That she's really pretty. Yeah, I guess that's what made her. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's probably what made her like super famous and stuff. But it's yeah. crazy how that works. That that's really good. And the thing you talked about, fame changes a lot. I completely agree on that, because I don't know. Like I I have myself seen some people change change like that, but they did not get that famous. Like it can't yeah. the level can't be compared to that of. the scenario but a little bit also like i've seen that like what was uh can you share the example like what happened not the exact person but like what happened in that scenario <laughs> no, no, no. let's move on okay was it like was it like someone got like 50,000 followers and suddenly they started acting no, different no, 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 no. no okay not 50,000 but like 20 30,000 yeah. yeah like that's close to 50,000 yeah yeah you know you know what's crazy i was I was telling someone yesterday. So the 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 gaming tour that I gave like yesterday on Instagram, that reel yeah. got nine thousand views, which is like the biggest yeah. views Saw ever. That. And I didn't even feel it. Like the all in my head, I was like, "How do I replicate? Like, what's next? Like, it's crazy how depressing social media can be, where you can have like a highlight of your career, and then you're just like, what's oh, next? Uh-huh. What's next?'" Like, you don't even appreciate I, it. I can feel you. <laughs> I've been there because I had um, I had so many deals that crossed 10k. Yeah. So, but now I I have some deals that are not crossing even 1k. It's crazy. And I have I have 3,000 plus followers, yeah. but the views are not even like 1,000, and that's super crazy because. Um, All my followers are organic. I, yeah. I, don't, I never like bought them or or did something like that. Yeah. But still, I'm not getting those views and those like which I I got earlier. So do you know? Do you know why? I don't know. Maybe maybe because I'm super careless now. Like I don't care that it's happening or not. It's it's because I have this I have this theory because I'm trying to figure out like the TikTok algorithm, which is very similar to the Instagram algorithm now. But I think there's a couple of factors it's dependent on, but the primary factor is watch time. So mm. if people are not watching your video fully, if forty percent are not crossing mm. three 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 seconds, twenty percent mm. are crossing half the time, uh, then it won't share with the rest of your followers, regardless of how many followers you have. Which kind of sucks for the creator, but it's really good for the platform. Yeah, but but I think um I don't know I I've not heard of this but I have mm-hmm. heard like if uh you're not watching the whole video yeah. it will not count as a view. Okay, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that. But I'm not sure. Like I've heard it from a friend. Yeah. I'm I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. But I think um it does not count as a view if you're just like viewing it for like if it's for 10 seconds you view it for 5 seconds i don't think it will count as a view i don't know oh, exactly yeah. i maybe yeah. wrong yeah but that's what i've heard okay yeah maybe you're right but yeah that's why that's why your your views never equal the amount of followers anymore yeah but it's like it's insane it sucks <laughs> instagram is a crazy place it is are you on any other Are there any other platforms that are popular in India now? Like, what about yeah. Be Real and stuff? Do you guys have Be Real yet? No, I don't know if if it's available, but I don't use it, so I I don't have any knowledge. But I am on Snapchat. I'm using it. What do you guys what like? I know you guys use Snapchat for like talking to your friends, but do you use it for like um, reaching a wider audience as well? 
reaching what wider audience no like do like people people do that but i don't do that okay how do like, they do that can you post like publicly and it goes on on a for you yeah, page yeah you can you can yeah if you can post uh, post it publicly and then people can subscribe you so i have this cousin from mamma side okay. from my mother side nice. so she is very much active on snapchat and i think she has uh, over 20000 subscribers on snapchat that's really good and is she able to does she get paid from it at all or no not yet no nothing has anyone i don't i don't know if she is getting but it's not in my knowledge as of now okay and is the is the main payment for like social media influencers in india like the brand deals is that what they're mainly doing or are they doing other things too i don't know that much i can because i'm just using it for fun like i uh, like you have asked me ki yeah. kashika why are you not doing it and like why are not trying to increase your se- increase your reach yeah. and like you know why i'm not putting that much effort because i don't have the time for that right now so yeah. i'm not much aware about what's happening okay that's fair yeah no that's very very fair i just think like i mean i thought this 10 years ago but i always felt like i didn't have the time 10 years ago cuz i was working like a i was engineering and then full time job but yeah. like social media has so much potential in terms of like the revenue streams that it's like yeah. it's insane it's absolutely you know I, i have a friend like when i started posting reels in 2020 yeah. so she used to ask me kashika ki like how how does it happen like what's the deal with the posting reels and all yeah. she used to ask a sort a sort of that stuff but um, she had uh, 40000 45000 followers on tiktok that's really good yeah. it was banned in 2020 so yeah. she was not much active on instagram so yeah. she used to ask me like you are posting reels and uh, uh, you know i i used to do collabs with the makeup artist yeah. as well earlier yeah. so all that she used to ask me and now um, that's really impressive the amount of money she's earning from instagram oh she she's it's her full time yeah. job now no no not full time she's studying but that's part time but it's really impressive and I, i'm so proud of her because like she's uh, one year younger to me yeah. and and she was asking yeah. you for advice i think you know her what's her name sanya yeah yeah you've talked about her before yeah, yeah. so she's uh, that's cool that's awesome yeah so she, she's doing that that's really impressive yeah. because she puts in a lot of hard work yeah. and you know uh she she does co- she goes to college she handles that and then she's handling her instagram as well very so very, very very impressive do you live stream at all or no what do you know how instagram like it has the live stream feature where you can go live and then people can join you have you ever seen yeah. that feature have you ever yeah. do you use that at all have you ever used that i have uh, i use that Do you uh like did you like it? Do you get a lot of people joining or is it just like not that? Um it's it was just for fun. I was at a friend's party and like we all were we all went live from my phone, my Instagram and it was just fun. It was just for fun. Like I was not expecting anything like anyone will join me and all that. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So, it's like um when really big influencers do it, it always seems like it's cool because there's just so many people joining and asking and all of that even even i join lives of some people oh yeah like we... have you ever asked to request to join have you ever done that where you can go on a video call no yeah. i think about it all the time but i never do it because like i'm just shy <laughs> but i always want to do request to join it's always tempting you can always come to my live videos if i do that again That's you can true. always come to yeah me. and then I'll, <laughs> i'll do request to join so that we can have a conversation on the yeah. live the but um the really mm-hmm. sorry for cutting you off but like one of the biggest trending things on TikTok right now is like one guy will get like one like big influencer like a few like thousands of followers will get five other guys who have like a following or girls and then they'll have like a five way chat and that usually has like that does a few thousand people watching every single time that's like that's a big nice. thing yeah but i will join lives like i join live videos yeah. of 
anyone like if i if i want to but yeah. mostly i go in the lives of celebrities because i'm very much interested in what they're doing do you have any and do you have any celebrity news for this week that's a good segue no i am i'm totally unaware because like i'm having my um mid semester exams coming soon and then i have so many question like i'm and you like you know i'm working as a tutor as well so yeah. it's so impressive yeah. it's very very impressive yeah thank you for making the time for doing this i know you had like yeah. a super packed schedule um yeah. so thank you, you. I, I, really I appreciate I, when it. i still have so many assignments to do but I and then when are, you, when are you leaving on vacation is it friday no next saturday oh so you have like a week and a half you're good yeah you i have a week and a half for shopping okay yeah you haven't you haven't planned uh yet and shopped and all that that's going to be huh? fun you haven't um do you need to shop a lot for the vacation no not a lot um i recently shop and but yes i still went on shopping yesterday and i shopped a lot yesterday oh nice would you get anything interesting nothing interesting as such i got the joggers and all but i i got really cute slippers very comfortable i got i'm very excited to wear it and where where are you going again describe it for everyone watching huh where where is that describe it for huh? everyone watching where is that okay, so i'm going to look at yeah yeah i'm i'm going to kedarnath and that's in uttarakhand um it's like i think 7 10 i think more, more or less 8 to 10 10 hours drive from delhi and uh, there's a uh, temple of lord shiva over there and then it's like uh, about it's like very old time i don't know exactly like how to describe it but it's just a temple and we're going there to worship and i wanted to visit kedarnath for a long time now but when we decided earlier it was uh, the rainy season at that time but we are going now because i really hope that it is not the rainy season right now because we have checked it online we have asked the tourist guides and all and they are all saying that it's not raining right now but i hope that it does not rain yeah cuz monsoon's just passed right so it must be it must be a risky time it very risky and <laughs> and the monsoons in india i don't know how many people have been to india from here but like monsoons in india are nuts like you got frogs and stuff things are flooding it's yeah, it's next level class i i'm sitting like that i'm sit, i'm just normally sitting the class is going on and there are like very small caterpillars all all over the place oh. it's crazy you don't you don't realize how in what ways india is like a little underdeveloped until you see frogs in classrooms and caterpillars in classrooms it's like so insane but and yeah. and you have to watch your step yeah. we have to we have to watch our step because we can just squish it it's crazy that's insane <laughs> um another topic that maybe we should move on to is did you hear about uh leo and what's going on with him Do you know Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio? He's very hot. Is he even now? Um, Or earlier? Earlier he was. Now, yeah, he still is. <laughs> that's awesome. That's uh, that's crazy. Leo, Leo is forty nine. So it's it's uh, it's crazy that you think that. And a lot of people think like he's past his prime kind of thing. But everyone remembers him from Titanic. Titanic yeah. is what like he was. amazing looking like he I, was... i remember him from shadow island as well yeah yeah that was a great that, i love that movie yeah. but but i can over and over again that, do you know uh, have you heard the news about what's going on with leo yeah i saw it on snapchat but i like i'm not totally aware but i just saw the headline that why does he break up with why does he only date the girls who are 25 years or less Yeah, so he broke up with his recent girlfriend because she turned twenty five apparently. Huh? Like, well, <laughs> I, I saw that. And, and, um, some, and there was a, there was a, I saw there was a divorce lawyer that I heard, and he was like, the reason he dates twenty five or less is because girls who are twenty five or less usually don't want to get married yet, so he doesn't have yeah. to worry about like prenups and liabilities. 
And then second, even if they were to like claim common law, you would still not be, apparently they can't claim for a lot of money because they're so young. So that's, uh, but yeah, it's crazy. It's every single, every single girl is below 25. And now the yeah. age gap is what, 24 years, right? 49 to 25? That's a 24 year age gap. That's nuts. That's huge. <laughs> it's nuts. It's unheard of, but he's Leo. I wonder if he'll ever settle down though, like George Clooney. I don't know George Clooney. You don't know George Clooney from Ocean's Eleven? No, no, I don't know. So George Clooney is an A-list actor that's like in the caliber of Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt. And he used to date very, very young. And he would date like a lot. And then finally, I think he's 50, I think he's nearing 60 now. But like two, three years ago or four years ago, he, he settled down and got married to like a 31 year old lawyer who's a superstar. And she's like, does a bunch of stuff with the UN and global warming and all of that. That's nice. And so like people were like, how did George Clooney settle down? But so yeah, did, well, I, I, I was about to say that like, how did he decide that he wanted to settle up? What made him settle down? I have no idea. You have to ask him. But I guess the, the girl was just that perfect. Like she was super accomplished from Harvard, lawyer, and he probably got sick of dating that many people. Who knows? I don't know. We'd have to ask him. But yeah. uh, what else do we have on today's thing? So we talked about Monty Lopez. We talked about Leo. We talked about our story. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can, we can talk about actually, uh, there's a lot of things going around right now that, that like TikTok and Instagram has passed its prime. And so it's mm -hmm. like a lot harder to grow. Uh, do, how do you feel about that? First of all, do you agree with that? No. Do you think it's still easy to grow on TikTok and Instagram? Yeah. And, uh, I think go ahead. Because I'm, I'm seeing every, like every week I'm seeing a new face. Oh, that's trending on, sorry, Instagram. That's you don't have TikTok. Yeah. Can't you, can't you download it with like the, the, the VPN or whatever? No, we, we, maybe, I don't know. I don't have the time and effort to do that. That's I'm fair. happy with Instagram. But yeah, you're saying everyone, it's a. I didn't, I didn't use TikTok even when it was in India. What? I was not. It did not interest me at all. I don't know. Because it was a dancing app, probably that's why. Yeah, people used to dance a lot on that and tingy tingy, tingy tingy all the time. Yeah, Indian, um, if I remember correctly, I think I was on TikTok just like watching videos back in the day. And like India would always be like all these guys from like uh, rural areas and they would be like reenacting Bollywood scenes. And that was super entertaining. Yeah, uh, there was one watching Dub Smash. What is Dub Smash? I know I've heard of them, but is that TikTok Indian? is? Yeah, it's like TikTok only. I don't know if it's Indian, but I used I use that. Me and Shreyansh, we used to Dub Smash a lot, but it's like um, it's not. It's similar to TikTok or Instagram. It's like you are lip sync, but there's no song or anything. It's the dialogues of the movies. And you were posting or consistently. You know, no, no, I was not posting. Okay. I was just making smashes for me. But me and Shreyansh, we used to do that a lot. Oh, nice. And then yeah. you wouldn't post them though? Because usually no. you publish. No, no, no. Uh, that, was, that was back in 2015, 14, something like that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm just four or five years old. Oh, okay, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, have you, did you hear about a guy named Kenny by any chance? Kenny blew up recently. It actually reminded me, you said random people are blowing up still. Kenny is one person that blew up still. Have you heard of Kenny at all? Probably no. not. Can you, actually, do you have a, how do I screen share here? I don't know if we can get. I can, I can Instagram them. Okay. Um, so Kenny, yeah, just type in Kenny TikTok. Or let me find his, his Instagram. Uh, What is it, Kenny? Hold on. Kenny Sebastian. Hold on, give me a second. Kenny 
No, let me, let me grab him here. Give me one sec. That's called thirst trapping. So how Kenny got famous was he posted a thirst trap where he was doing, you've been to the gym, so he was hack squatting. And then like he was looking into the camera in different ways. And like he cut that up and posted that. And that got, um, that got something like five, six million views. And so his, his following went up from like a few thousand followers to 60, 70,000 in a day, then 150,000 in the second day. And Kenya, okay. Yeah, because the conversion this, is low from you're right. TikTok to That's Instagram. Him. Yeah, it's a back in the day, back in like, I guess, COVID times, like 2021. Uh, the conversion between TikTok and oh, Instagram. Sorry. Was yeah, I know what that is. 50, 60 percent. But I guess there's so many creators. No, no, no. I was just talking. That conversion doesn't exist anymore. Especially, but especially nice. because when you go on TikTok now, yeah. when you're scrolling, so you can actually subscribe to someone just by right clicking while you're going through the reel. So you don't, don't even need so. to go on their page. Like, not a so I think one of the big things that's happening is you just click like the plus button and you don't even go on their page. And if you don't go on their page, then you're never going to follow the Instagram link through. Okay. The yeah, eyes are changing you UI. Yeah. We have that so much in India. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Yeah, but yeah, you were saying that some people are blowing up and Kenny was like the prime example of that recently where he's just like blown up like crazy. He's on live streams all the time with other creators and like it's funny how you know it's funny like people always say that like attractive people do really well on social media but like i saw this recently where whenever he's on a live stream you can like donate to people right and kenny always has like 400 more yeah i think his instagram only has and he just sits there and just like smiles three, like, that's all he does he barely talks he barely does anything he just like yeah. smiles yeah, yeah but his, his, uh, the number his of donations have a lot he gets of far views. exceeds everyone else yeah, so it's like a prime example of uh, pretty privilege. Hmm. You don't think it's lost its time? It's the, I just wonder, can okay. they make money off of it? That's the, that's the real question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. But yeah. I don't know anything about TikTok because I did not use it back then. Even now, like, I, I'm right now. I'm really happy with my yeah. Instagram. Yeah, that's fair. You're saying you're saying that you can just grow steadily over the years, and then everything will come eventually. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Not, is she on Instagram or is she I think also I'm YouTube seeing herself? like really new faces every week, so I don't think. Oh, that okay, so Insta, is, her, is she Instagram mainly a YouTuber that Instagram. also does Instagram, or is she mainly an Instagram that also does? YouTube? No. Okay. But like, oh, uh, you can make money, but okay. Why do you have to make do it right just now? You're just beginning with Instagram yeah. and like. Okay, you you got viral. Your Instagram got viral. It's, it's trending and all that. But yeah, be, gradually everything happens. I could have also <laughs> made money super, out of Instagram with three three thousand followers. But that's a super it, it strong name. had <laughs> it, like it. I should. I it required me to put that kind of effort and all yeah. that. But I was not ready to. Yeah. 
what do they talk about? Is it usually vlogging? Are they doing daily vlogs or what are they doing? Yeah, because I, I've seen so many bloggers. Okay. I've, I've been following That's them That's very since cool. 2017 yeah. if, um, or 16. I mean, actually, and there's Emma Chamberlain. They have been constantly vlogs, going. Though, it's not I'm like they... Like, here, I think daily now, vlogs have kind of gone but down in They have been constantly growing. Like there's but one um, maybe in India, there's still Indian like girl that her name is Kritika Khurana. Um, yeah, yeah uh, her Instagram is that boho girl. And I've been following her from a long time. And she's constantly mm-hmm. growing. It's not like she ever stopped. Like, obviously, yeah, these people it, don't share like, that much on the social media. But quite a bit, right? growth so, is really impressive. Um, yeah, it makes sense. You're absolutely right. Like, I will spend more time on Instagram. Yeah, she's on YouTube. YouTube shorts or even like TikTok than any other platform these days. So that's very, very true. Last thing I want to talk about is... Uh, do you I think she right is um, more, more active on Instagram. Nothing? But uh, she is getting equally active on YouTube PUBG? as well. I don't do follow you, uh, her on YouTube. Like, how do you play PUBG? Because I have the time to see about? so long videos. But um, I follow her on uh, Instagram and... That's not, that's nice, and there are two three is others very, as well. Is it very One was uh, like Raj Bhagwan, Riyal Mahajan, and all that. Gonna, I, I is it like to... Age of Empires, or is it? Yeah, she, yeah. I I I've been following them for a, for a, like for a long oh, time it's now. Like a, it's like a first and person shoot. I I love like their content because that. Okay. Daily vlogs okay. and, uh, you know, fashion tips and all that. Yeah, because I think you were playing that nice. in, like, it was COVID times. I remember talking about it with you and you were like, I have nothing to do. So I just spent the whole night playing PUBG. PUBG. <laughs> yeah. 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 Holy. And then, yeah, we still watch the That's I, I watched YouTube. I like, I watch the vlogs and all but i spend more time on instagram than youtube yeah. this was a was this like first year of university during covid was that the time yeah so everyone didn't know what was going on school kind of shut down a little bit they were lowering the amount no. of work you had to do i used to G. I used to play pubg yeah. Yeah. Um, it's basically yeah. a fighting game. It's like yeah. a war zone. No, you have uh, to go. You have to time. fight. You have to kill. But that's uh, that's cool. How did you get off PUBG? Like, when did you decide like it's becoming too boring? Age of Empires, but it it's more like you know just killing people and winning, and the winner gets a chicken dinner. I don't have okay. that one knowledge. I just, just used to play that for my for was fun and all that. Was it hard to get off of it, or did you but just get off? Of I used to kill time with that when I was in school. Was it hard to stop, or were you kind of bored of it at that point? I I used to play it whole night, and then at five thirty six, I yeah, used to so go up on my roof. School basically. I, right? I used to watch the sunset while playing PUBG. No. But that was so much fun. That was the most fun era I had because I used to play nothing to do, lie down all day, play PUBG, use Instagram, talk yeah. to friends, eat and things, very, very and things unhealthy food and sleep. Like, like you could go out with your friends, <laughs> you could do all of that. So you weren't like stuck in COVID at that point. Yeah, for Yeah, yeah. No, that's you're absolutely right, because like I'm playing a bunch of small games right now just to stream them, and like but it was a one of the very difficult transition. But I'm so like if you look at it from a lazy of, person's point of view, so it's crazy that it went from like, even cool. though it, it used to do a lot of numbers, <laughs> I just don't feel like playing it anymore because it's boring. That's like a tough thing. But I think that's all we have for today. Thank you very much. Do you want to say anything party? Drop your handle again. No, it was so never boring. Game. It's just that um, it was very time consuming. Like I used to spend a lot on PUBG. So then I thought, you know, I think I should stop. I should give myself a break. And that was in 2021. Absolutely. Anyways. 
Fine. I was kind of bored also, but um, then I thought ki I should stop it because I uh, I began yeah. with my college, so I had those after, assessments actually, and all that. Actually, the last thing that maybe won't work for the I got busy with my college, so I've been looking into I thought like, of giving it a break. But know, then I uh, I used to play it sometimes. Like, what it was not like difficult to leave, but um, so I think I got a little bit bored as well. And I, I found new interests that other people uh, I, who I, like those two people feel like they're in the same room. And so they can be like involved yeah. in the same conversation. I could get enough sleep, so first like of all. Super, it's like almost hanging out with your friends and just like shooting the, the shit, as we call it here. Exactly, they're just hanging out like friends. Well, they can comment. So, guys, comment down below if you have if you have anything. Yeah. Absolutely, and you should uh, all of you, but especially Kashika because she's here. You guys should cop the merch. We have like a new merch design. I don't know. I didn't get to show it off. Actually, you can see it on that screen. But next okay, time, okay. So you, you merch, can follow me on Kashika. Instagram, and my handle is at the rate K A S H A K A R O R W H. And right um, yeah, we can connect on Instagram <laughs> anytime. And if any yeah. one of you like wants to yeah. chat or you know, but anyways, have, have a have a great week. Comment down below what you like, and what I really you don't like. Doing this. Happy to improve, and we'll see you guys next I, week. I really had fun Peace. doing this because I did not have to put that put that much uh, that much effort. It was like easy flowing conversation <laughs> it was Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, they're just being part of our conversation. Just yeah, but just not able to give their views on that. <laughs> they can connect with us no ever any time. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, like, I'm sure. Bye-bye. <laughs>